In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the lower grill on this Dodge Dart. Let's get into it. We're gonna remove this cover. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket, take these bolts out. Using a trim tool, take the push pins out. Grab the cover and slide it off. Take these push pins out, use the trim tool. Using the 10 millimeter socket, take these bolts out. Underneath, there's screws holding this in. Use a Phillips head screwdriver. You may have eight millimeter screws holding this in. like this one, this is a eight millimeter socket I'm gonna to use to take this one out. That's all loose. Back here, I'm using a 10 millimeter socket. Take these bolts out. There should be one there. Use an eight millimeter socket, take this screw out. And right here. And the same on the other side. And slide this down and it slides right out. You can disconnect the connector. There's two little tabs on the side. Slide that off. Disconnect the connector right here in the center. I'm just gonna use a pick. Slide this little lock down. Should just be able to push down there and slide this off. This one's a little tricky. I'm just gonna use the pick and just get above it. Just push that tab down. Using a 10 millimeter socket, there's a screw going straight up right here. Take that out. On the sides here, there's three screws. Take those out, use an eight millimeter socket. Take those out, just grab the bumper and forcefully just pull out. Just like that. And right here as well, just clips out. Do the same on the other side. Just grab up top here, lift it up. You can slide the bumper cover right off. Underneath here, there's two fasteners. They should be 10 millimeter bolts that you need to take out. This vehicle has a Phillips head, so we'll just 
take that screw out. We just used a Phillips head screwdriver bit. On the two sides, use an eight millimeter socket, take those two screws out. And just grab the grill, and just pull up. There's a clip right underneath there. Release that clip. It slides right up. I just grab the grill, pry up a little bit, and then there's clips. You just want to release it from the clips. Just be careful. And then you can see where the plate bracket is clipped in right there. You want to just pry that back. Then you don't have to take the plate bracket off. It's unclipped. You just pull it straight up. There we go. Take the grill, line it up. And you want to see where the plate bracket is going to clip in. Make sure those go through there properly. Just push it down, and that clipped in. And it's all the way locked down. Take the shutter grill active shutter grill and just line this up push it down in place put those two screws in on the side tighten those down and take the two screws on the bottom, get those started, and tighten those down. Now slide the bumper in place. Get the top lined up, tap it down. sides. There we go. Do the same on the other side. Take this bolt, get that started right there. Tighten that down, make sure that lines up good. Take these bolts, get these started. Top one there. Take the connector, plug it in. Now slide this in place. I'm going to slide the top or the front in first. Get that to line up. back bolts, get those started. Tighten these down. Same on the other side. Put these bolts in. Get those all started.
And before we tighten those up, get these screws in front. Tighten them down. Two on the side as well. Take the screws, get those started. Tighten those down. And take push pins. Get those started, push those in place. Take this panel, line this up, and get the push pins, start those, and lock them down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.